you know it's getting late when the solar lights come on getting dark but we're done first off we got some light striping going on from the quick track southern stripes as we call them and motored all the way down there in the dirt pile way down there uh, done done all the trimming back here in the back um, so this is where I'm at but uh, taking a quick water break I just got done mowing what can be mowed I actually started out doing some trimming and I probably got a third of it trimmed or so and uh, decided to uh, hop on the mowers for a little bit and do the mowing so that way by the time I got done doing that it would be um, cooled off and it wouldn't be quite so bad on me as far as doing the rest of the trimming so that's what's going on but while I'm on my break I figured I might would throw some uh, little bit of irrigation update or irrigation preview information in here um, sorry I gotta move my stuff off the trailer so I know uh, Ray from Ray Ray's lawn landscape shout out to Ray been following along on the irrigation stuff it's been a couple of days uh, had some previous weather reports that kept me from doing anything this past Friday, which turned out to be nothing, but uh, I didn't want to risk traveling to that job and being rained out and then having to drive all the way back, especially with the price of gas. So, um, so I didn't do anything Friday. Saturday I had to cut grass uh, just because I was getting behind, and I actually cut a couple of small yards later like Sunday afternoon um, I try not to do that but um, I knew I was gonna have to try to get back on the irrigation and so I'm actually having to wait till tomorrow I did go by there yesterday and do a couple of things that I'll talk about when I go back um, but planning I had to wait on the electrician the gentleman that's doing the um, hooking up the pump and everything because typically I wouldn't have to worry about that and I'll show you why in a minute and tell you why and uh, maybe I'll get to re-explain it when I actually get back to the job so um so let me turn the camera around and start running my mouth some more about uh kind of an update or follow-up or continuance of the irrigation just a, kind of an overview of something and uh, hopefully this will be some more helpful information for you. So here we go. So you can see I've got it's a Rainbird controller. Um, this is six stations, so six zones. And this is what the box looks like. And you just it's got a, a latch on it there. You push it and open it. Um, and so typically what I would do is you can see this has a 12 volt or a 120, 110, I think 110 hookup like you would plug into a regular receptacle. Typically this will be mounted inside the garage on the wall near an outlet where you can plug it up and that gives power to the timer. And then this cover comes off. And what you've got here it's kind of hard to see is you have your common wire which comes from the valve box and I don't know uh, maybe you can tell here on this wire I'll go over this again probably but um, so you have your multi strand wire here and typically your white wire is pretty standard to be your common wire um, will go here or C for common and then you can see where it's got one through six numbered and this would correspond to the zone and valve assigned to that zone so whatever wire you have attached to zone one in my case I went red 
orange, yellow, blue, green, and brown. So what I would do here is go red, orange, yellow, blue, green, and brown in order, one through six. And that would correspond the timer to the valve for each zone in the yard. And that tells me the type of zone that I have, which varies on the type of heads. If you notice, I mentioned earlier to avoid mixing spray heads and your rotor, your larger rotor heads like these or your small rotors. Put sprays with sprays and rotors with rotors. Um, so a spray zone is typically going to run 15, maybe 18 or so minutes, 15 to 20, just to say that, the general range. And your rotor heads are going to normally run 25 to 30 minutes initially. So that's why you don't um, mix the heads together because you don't want to spray head spraying on one area for 30 minutes unless you are just been in a drought for an extended period of time. But typically you're not going to run them that long. So um, then that will tell you how to set your timer and this is all adjustable i don't have any power obviously to show you but um so you'll set your date and time pretty standard uh start times i believe this timer has i know it has two it may have three programs an a b and c so if you wanted to water in the morning and in the evening you could do a program a and a program b and what this does is you start times, you would say program A starts at 5 a.m. And what this would do is once you have everything set, that program will come on at 5 a.m. And each one of these zones will operate individually for the allotted time until it goes through the entire system. So you'll set your start time. Like I said, so it could be 5 a.m. Run times, this is where you set your your zone run time so if zone one is rotor heads initially you're probably going to set it for let's just say 30 minutes uh, so you would set it for 30 minutes and that would be the plus or minus to set your time at plus up to 30 and then you would hit this next button to the right and that would send you over to zone two put your time in whatever it is 15 minutes 30 minutes, whatever. Um, then go zone three, so on and so forth. And then this one is a little aggravating with this clock. Um, but what you typically do is your watering days, and it will indicate up here at the top of the timer. I'll try to show you all this again, but it will indicate at the top of the timer Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, it will be blinking on a day. If you hit the plus sign, it will run that day. You'll, it'll On this one, it's a little water droplet. So say if you wanted it to run every day, you would literally just hit the plus sign for each day. Some of them may already be pre-cut. Um, as far as not operating on certain days, so you'll, you'll see that up there. And what it'll be is you'll see the water droplet, and it'll have a circle with a slash through it, almost like a no smoking sign on those days so basically you would just start on sunday hit plus and make sure it, it only shows the water droplet monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday all the way through if you wanted it to water every day if you do not want it to water a day when it's flashing that day you hit the minus sign it will turn that day off and move on to the next day and you can just hit the plus to leave it operating so that's how you set your watering days and once you have all of this stuff set here, you would simply turn it around here to auto. And the timer will run the irrigation. So the next morning, if you only have it running in the morning, it would come on at 5 a.m. And it would run through the cycle of zones. And then the system would be done. It would cut off. Um, if you have a program B, say, coming on at 5.30 in the evening or, or whatever, then at 5.30 in the evening, the system would come on again and run through the second program. So you can set up one or multiple programs on here. Again, I want to say it's got three on it, and I can verify that when I go back through it. Um, 
and then obviously if you're getting a lot of rain or the grass is dormant you simply turn it to off it does have a memory in here you do not have to reset the times unless you want to adjust those times and watering days um, so you can obviously it has a manual watering set setting so you would turn it to manual and it'll indicate uh, what button to hold I think it flashes I want to say you have to hold this button you hold that button down for a couple of seconds and it will automatically start um, the zone it's either this button or that button but uh, we'll double check that or I'll double check that when I get power to the timer um, I've never really used the seasonal adjust on this but I believe that what that is is you would mark it here turn your indicator to that and then you would select the zone and it shows a water percentage so I think if it's a wet season you could put it down to only watering a certain volume or a certain amount of a program something like that uh, again I've never actually used that so not going to say 100% on that one thing um, and you can also hook a sensor to this if you have one, which is simply one that you mount like a weather sensor so that it tells when it's raining. And I believe that what that will do is if the system is running and you have a sensor hooked up to it and it starts to rain, it will cut the sensor, it will cut the system off. Um, once that's set and then again, just leave it on auto. When you want it to run, if you don't want it to operate, say during the winter or the dormant season, just cut it to off. So, sounds like a lot is actually pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, again, I will do my best. I'm going to put this cover back on here to go back over this. Um, tomorrow, I'm supposed to meet the electrician out at the job tomorrow. So that we can get everything hooked up so that this uh, is also supposed to operate the pump that he's putting up. Um, now according to what he's telling me, this here, this M connection, not sure what it stands for, manual, uh, something, I'm not sure. Um, this one typically does not get used the way I normally hook it up. But this would be where his power would come to this um, stud here. And again, his common wire would also tie in here from the power for the pump. And then this would also tell the pump when the valve comes on, opens up, it should send power to the pump to tell it to come on. So he's kind of explained to me that that's how it should work. He's done it before, so... He's the expert when it comes to that. Uh, I typically hook up to a water source, either a water line off of a well, or uh, basically the water line going to the house and would tee off of it. And I'll get into explaining that possibly some more tomorrow after I get done dealing with him getting this hooked up. <clears throat> but that is your rundown on your Rainbird timer. That's a pretty standard uh or this is a pretty standard timer this is just your basic six zone clock um they make i think they make a nine zone um so you can get a little bigger system if you would like or if you decide to um i don't think i have personally installed a system bigger than six zones um actually i take that back um, I'm going to put this back in here. Um, I did install one, I believe, that had seven. Um, so, I have put one in slightly bigger than that. But, uh, that's kind of the rundown of the hookup for the clock and how it operates the irrigation system. So, um, I got to get on the trimmer and try to get this one knocked out uh, before I lose all the daylight. But I wanted to go over that and uh, put a little something out there on the irrigation because I know it's been a few days. And uh, I'm sure Ray's chomping it a bit to see some more. Uh, he's been commenting on all of them. So again, shout out to Ray and everybody else who's commented. 
uh, Mr. Gerald over at Cleaning Green, uh, Wild Bill, um, Ronaldo over at Big Sons, um, Johnny with Upscale has, has commented some on it as well, and uh, a number of other people. Uh, sorry if I missed anybody. I know I probably did, but um, hopefully. Um, if you haven't watched the previous videos, um, I tried to go through explaining most of the system from beginning to end, even though I haven't got any live footage, but I've done kind of a tutorial, I guess you would say, series. Um, so, I'm going to wrap this one up so I can get going. Hopefully, y'all are enjoying it. And uh, once again, I want to say thank you to all my subs. I actually think I'm closing in on 700, so I'm fixing to be a member of the 700 Club. So if you're watching and you haven't yet, I believe today I was at 697. So I'm only three away, y'all. Um, and I know what some of you were thinking probably is uh, I still haven't done my giveaway. Uh, things have been a little crazy lately, especially um, with the irrigation system and some other stuff that's going on. I haven't forgotten about it. I'm just trying to get it put together. Um, so y'all bear with me on that. And again, thank y'all for all the support and the comments, the likes, the subscribe, the subscriptions. Um, hopefully y'all have enjoyed it. Um, I know I've been getting some good feedback and comments. So, um, and y'all share the videos. You know, maybe somebody else out there that's uh, part of y'all's channel that y'all, uh, that follows y'all. If y'all share it, maybe you'll watch it and, uh. And it'll be helpful to them. So hopefully something in this video and the previous videos have been helpful. Um, if you haven't had an opportunity yet, hit that subscribe button at the bottom. And uh, let me know what you think. So once again, I want to say thank y'all. And uh, y'all be safe. Be kind. Be blessed. And catch you on the next one. Thanks again, everybody.